everybody much adventure here today i have a fascinating and yet equally or i would say even more terrifying um peculiar phenomenon and that is called the call of the deep okay so first how i how i even came across this was a a reddit post actually and i want to just take you into that right now so Basically, this guy in this, and this is kind of how it's related to space too, right? So basically, this guy in Reddit, he posted this space article, um, and it was, you know, exoplanets where humans could go outside with uh, only an oxygen mask and clothing, no pressure suit. This would actually be a really cool search uh, for another video in um, Space Engine to find, like, you know, all these different things. So essentially, he lists all of, um, you know, he lists all of the requirements that a planet needs um, so that we can go outside without a pressure suit on. And basically, he, he lists here, 50 atmospheres is the highest pressure experienced by saturation divers. Humans are shockingly resistant to pressure. So um, then, okay, this is, this, is just, this is how we get into it, right? So then this guy goes, um, you know, the only thing I'd say is having been diving, I have the knowledge that, yes, we can survive at 50 atmospheres, but that isn't for a long period of time. Okay, now what this guy gets into is when you go that deep, right? When you go that underwater and you go that deep, um, you get something called, what is it here? Nit nitrogen saturation. So what happens in your body is literally, um, according to what, I, what I've read here, is literally what happens to your body um, is that because there's so much pressure, it's actually forcing gases into your cells and like into your blood, into all your cells. Um, so things that normally wouldn't be in your cells are now being like squished literally into your cells. And so it's called, um, what is it called? Nitrogen narcosis. Let's check that out. So it is called nitrogen narcosis. Uh, it's a condition that affects deep sea divers, goes by other names. Basically, it makes you feel drunk. At the end of the day, it makes you feel drunk. Um, look, when inhaled, the altered gases can produce unusual symptoms that often make a person appear to be drunk. Now, here is the most 1 million percent absolute terrifying thing that I read. And it's down here, okay? This was where I was like, oh my God, this is a horrifying uh, phenomenon or condition. Um, it looks like... Do I need to... Okay, so this is... Sorry, it's actually the post. So, um, this is it right here. This is, a, this is a, a terrifying story, okay? So, a diving instructor took his students uh, to class in an ocean, right? The idea was to get them adjusted to not being able to see the sea floor as something that happens. And actually, have you ever seen that video that's been going around recently of that diver who's, like, making her way over seafloor let's i'm going to show you that right now just to give you an idea of the terrifyingness of see of not seeing a seafloor okay let's watch that okay so check this out so i couldn't find the actual one that i wanted to find that i was thinking of but this kind of does the exact same uh is he the same just so look this is called dean's blue hole um so look at this right you're on the seafloor and then all of a sudden it just goes into absolutely nothing a gigantic hole you cannot see the bottom so already what's it called thalassophobia or something you're afraid of uh, deep water. Anyway, so I just wanted to give you, yeah, like, look at this. Like, that's essentially looking into where you cannot see because it is so deep, right? Okay, so with that in your mind, uh, let's go back over here to our story. So, uh, so you know, a, a diving instructor, he's, he's got a class going on. Um, you know, he's, he's teaching them how to get adjusted to not being able to see uh, the seafloor, right? Just like what we just saw. So this particular guy or day or whatever you want to say um, felt that something was wrong with the student. When he looked at him, he was staring down. So the student is literally staring into that deep hole. Um, then the student began swimming down. Uh, the diving instructor tried to stop him at first, grabbing his shoulder before he could move too far. But the student shook him off, kept going down. The teacher swam after him, grabbed his leg. The student turned back to his teacher, smiled, shook off his leg then continued swimming down. And then the, eventually the teacher had to leave him down there because otherwise uh, he was going to die himself. And this guy says here, supposedly this is something that happens to diving instructors often. And it is called the call of the deep. And it's essentially what we just read where, yeah, like this guy says, nitrogen narcosis. It's like being drunk. 
You can't think clearly, and people who modify their buoyancy will mess it up or decide uh, to see how deep they can go. No logic, just impulse. That's why you got to keep track of and keep making eye contact with new dive buddies. You imagine that? Like you're diving with someone, you're looking at them, right? And then they're looking down. And you know it's and you know that they're getting whatever nitrogen narcosis, and you're like, oh god, like, you know, you gotta move now or never. That's terrifying. Nitrogen narcosis, the call of the deep. So you get this impulse. Maybe it's just like drunkenness, like you really just want to um push push it. Like a drunk person, you know, <laughs> you do things that, you know, you don't really understand why later, but you just do them. So, oh my gosh. That is terrifying. Um, see, this guy also has another thing here. I've heard of a guy who'd get nervous when he was uh, narked. I guess that's what they call it. Um, nitrogen narcosis, narked, and wanted to go to the surface. But he'd always think he had to go around the world to get back up and swim deeper. So, like, you just literally go into another world. Um, on the surface, he'd know he'd done it, and he knew it was nuts, but it would keep happening. And his buddy would need to keep saving him from himself. <laughs> This guy, that's terrifying. I'd give up diving immediately. Yeah, no kidding. So, wow, the call of the deep. Have you ever heard of such a crazy thing? And could you imagine astronauts, right, on these planets? Let's say there was planets where you could experience, you know, like these Kepler planets, right? Kepler 40, uh, 44-2b. Um, you know, the giant water planets, they're huge, right? So is the atmosphere actually a lot crazier on those planets? Would we all get nitrogen narcosis, which is when nitrogen just, you know, gets absorbed into your body? I don't know. I do know that this is terrifying. And I'm glad that I can share it with someone uh, other than myself now. So I went with a blue background for the terrifyingness of the deep sea. Uh, I don't know if you could tell that. But uh, what do you guys think? Have you guys ever been diving? I've never actually been diving. And to be totally 1 million percent. um. Honest with you, I would never want to go diving. Let's just check out before we go. The nitrogen narcosis signs. Poor judgment, short-term memory loss, trouble concentrating, a sense of euphoria, disorientation, reduced nerve and muscle function, hyper-focusing on a specific area. That must be like when you're looking straight down and hallucinations. Wow. What happens to a diver once they reach about 100 feet? They don't get worse until the diver swims deeper. It becomes more serious at 300 feet. Um, symptoms go away after a few minutes. Wow. Some of the symptoms like disorientation, pure, poor judgment causes divers to swim deeper. And oh man, diving has never been on my list of what I want to do in life. Bucket list does not include diving. I don't know why. It's terrifying to me. Look at all these. My goodness. Anyways, that is crazy. So there you go. I hope uh, hope you guys learned something new today. The call of the deep, amazing, incredible. I love finding stuff out like this. Like what a what a crazy uh, phenomenon that you go underwater, something starts affecting your blood, and then you're like, it causes you to go down more. I mean, what is going on in the universe these days, guys? What what the heck is happening? Hope you guys like this video. Um, if you are new here, please uh, subscribe and there's more stuff like this. And this was space adjacent content, I would say, uh, but enjoyable nonetheless. Um, and otherwise, you guys can join my membership and, um, you know, just live your best life out there, guys. Everyone uh, have a great day.